Hi there, this is Dipendra. Addressing you a presentation for how to configure an EFM plugin card. Here you can see it is the main menu of the EFM plugin card showing you different menus 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now we'll put 3 and put enter to enter in the configuration management. Confile space load space factory hyphen default. This command is used to set the card to factory default settings. After entering this command, the card will reboot itself. And after getting rebooted, this card will go into the factory default settings. It will take an ample of time, so we got to wait for that till it get rebooted by itself and main menu appears. See, it is taking a little time. It is a normal procedure. Now we'll log in the card in the similar fashion as we did earlier. We can see the main menu has appeared. We we'll again put 3 and put enter to enter in the configuration management. Bridge space ADDR learning space off bridge space addr learning space off this command is used to turn off the mac address learning on the card now our task is to configure the dsl part of the card the first step is to configure the mode in the card for which we will give the command dsl space aggregate space 1 space master that means we are configuring this card into card mode 1 that is single pair and each pair will be in the master mode DSL space admin status space PME hyphen A space PME here stands for DSL1 which means we are turning on the admin status of DSL1 to up similarly we will turn on the DSL status admin status of rest pair to up with the command DSL space admin status space PME hyphen B space up DSL space admin status space PME hyphen C space up and finally DSL space administrators space PME hyphen D space up. Nextly, we'll create a bridge between the Ethernet port and their corresponding DSL pair. DSL space administrators space PCS1 space up that shows that we have configured a bridge between Ethernet 1 and DSL 1 that is PME hyphen A similarly we will configure the bridge for rest of the copper pair DSL space administrator space PCS2 space up DSL space administrator space PCS3 space up and DSL space admin status space PCS4 space up we can now see on the card that all the four LEDs have been glowing now in red indication now we will define the bandwidth on the 
respective copper pair for which we have to define the line rate on them dsl space line rate space pme hyphen a space 32 that means we have configured a bandwidth of 2 mb on pair 1 similarly dsl space line rate space pme hyphen b space 48 and dsl space line rate space pme hyphen c space 64 that means 4 mbps has been configured on pair 3 dsl space line rate space pme hyphen d space 299 that means we have set a bandwidth of 15 mbps on pair 4 our next task is to configure the back of on the card that means if we have to turn on the power back off or we have to turn off the power back off here in this card we are turning on the power back off the command for that is dsl space back off space pme hyphen a space on that means back off on pair 1 has set to on similarly dsl space back off space pme hyphen b space on DSL space back off space PME hyphen C space on and DSL space back off space PME hyphen D space on. So we have configured the DSL part successfully. Now we will move on to Ethernet part. So we have to set the admin status of all the Ethernet ports to up. Command for that is very similar to DSL part which is Ethernet that we will write ETH space admin status space eth1 space up for port 1 and ethernet space admin status space eth2 space up for ethernet port 2 ethernet space at eth space admin status space eth3 space up for ethernet port 3 and ethernet that is eth space admin status space eth4 space up so all the port ethernet ports are now in the up status now we will configure a management IP on this card for that so that we can access it, the card by management command for that is IP address oops I just wrote a wrong command IP address IP ADDR space add space 172.16.111.1 one zero zero slash twenty four. Twenty four is the subnet mask. You can select any IP of any subnet marks for that. Now we'll configure the VLAN on the card. So the command to show the VLAN configuration is VLAN space show. So here we can see the VLAN configuration, current VLAN configuration on this card. Again, now my task is to create some VLAN IDs on the card for the command command for the that is VLAN space create space the VLAN ID which we will give that is we I am using here 100 VLAN space create space 100 space its description it can be anything right here I am writing CS hyphen 1 so VLAN space create space 100 space CS hyphen 1 and enter so VLAN 100 is created on that Similarly, I'll create the VLAN space create space 200 space CS hyphen 2 VLAN space create space 300 space CS hyphen 3 <coughs> And you can see I have created VLAN 402 After giving the command VLAN show we can see that all the four VLANs has been created. Now I'll define the VLAN on the respective Ethernet port and DSL ports which will be tagged or untagged. For that the command is VLAN space add space 100 space ETH1 space U. U stands for untagged. So we can see VLAN number 100 is untagged on Ethernet 1. Similarly I'll uncheck 
villain number 200 on Ethernet 2 and villain number 300 on Ethernet 3 and VLAN space add space 400 space ETH4 space U that means VLAN number 100 is untagged on Ethernet 4 <coughs> now I'll define the VLANs on the corresponding DSL pair for that the command is very similar to the Ethernet one I'll write VLAN space add space 100 space PCS1 space U that means VLAN number 100 is untagged on PCS1 that is DSL1 similarly VLAN number 200 has been untagged on DSL2 VLAN number 300 is untagged on PCS3 and VLAN number 400 similarly is untagged on PCS4 that is DSL4 Again giving the command VLAN show, you can see that this is the current configuration of VLAN on our card. Now I have to define a default VLAN for the card. VLAN space PVID space 100 space ETH1 so 100 is a default VLAN on Ethernet 1 PVID stands for default VLAN similarly VLAN space PVID space 200 space ETS2 and VLAN space PVID space 300 space ETS3 and VLAN space PVID space 400 space ETS4 so you can see here it is written PVID for port Ethernet 4 is 400 that means default VLAN for port Ethernet 4 is 400 similarly I'll give a def uh, default VLAN on the DSL ports too command exactly the same VLAN PVID space 100 space PCS1 VLAN PVID space 200 space PCS2 VLAN space PVID space 300 space PCS3 and VLAN space PVID space 400 space PCS4 you can see there we those PVIDs are showing on the corresponding Ethernet port and PCS ports now if I wish to have a management on Ethernet port I have to define 400 VLAN to the management 2 because it is going to port 4 the so command for that is VLAN space PVID space 400 space ETH4 again I will give the same default VLAN for M management 2 so VLAN PVID space 400 space MGMT1 so our card is configured, they'll get up and status will be shown accordingly.